Hi, this is a quick walk around the Prashley Roads to Classic and Roads to Sovereign bicycles. This is the Classic. And this is the Sovereign. The uh, Sovereign on the left you can see has um, a, a proper front light which is operated by the hub whereas the classic on the right uh, simply has a, a front reflector. Uh, you'll also notice a difference in the handlebars. The sovereign on the left has flatter handlebars whereas the classic on the right has um, more bullhorn style bars. Brooks leather saddle and the same Brooks saddle for the Sovereign. This is the Sovereign and you can see that it has the Brooks B33 saddle. You'll also notice the double coiled spring at the front. And the double twisted coils at the back. And there we see pressing on them, see how they work in action. This is the classic, which as you can see has the same B33 saddle. There's the double spring at the front. This is the front hub of the Sovereign. It's a Sturmi Archer XFDD and it has an internal drum brake operated by this lever here. This is the front drum of the Classic, it's an Sturmi Archer XFD, and the main difference is that it doesn't have a hub dynamo in this one. Rear hub of the Sovereign is a Sturmi Archer XRD5. And the rear of the Classic is an XRD3. The three refers to it being a three speed and the five on the Sovereign refers to it being a five speed. This is the Sovereign's five speed gear changer. This is the cable and adjuster leading to the rear hub. This is the three-speed changer of the Classic. 
and a close-up of its adjuster and its little chain as it leads into the hub. You'll notice that both bikes have enclosed chains, there are uh, plastic uh, chain guards. This is the front light of the Sovereign, it's a hub dynamo powered Bush and Muller Lumatec Retro, that's a halogen bulb in that. The rear light of the Sovereign is uh, battery operated and it's uh, affixed to the rack. This is the uh, rear stand of the Sovereign being uh, raised and locked away. You'll notice those scuff marks on the bottom of the stand, that uh, happens when uh, it's on the pavement. And that's why on the uh, stand for the Classic I put this uh, small piece of old garden hose which I um, clipped on with some cable ties and that stops it getting scuffed up and the paint scratched off it. This is an AXA rear wheel lock which comes fitted as standard on the Sovereign. As you can see on the Classic it's not there but uh, there is a space there for you to uh, bolt it in place. The rear tyre of the Sovereign is a Schwalbe Marathon Plus. and the same for the Sovereign's front wheel. The Classic has Schwalbe Delta Cruiser tyres front and back. And that's it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful.